Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a very quick way to get data into R, not necessarily importing it, a much less formal process to get data quickly into R. Perhaps you found something off of the web or on an Excel spreadsheet, I'll do examples of each of those. And you just want to very quickly pull it into R and do some calculations. You don't necessarily want to make a big project of it. Uh, so I'm going to show, start with a spreadsheet. So let's say we have this Excel spreadsheet. And I'm interested in doing a little calculation on this little table here, this tiny little data set here. I've got four, uh, three columns and a bunch of rows, right? And column headings. And i got a whole bunch of other stuff on this spreadsheet. So if I really wanted to import this, I would have to copy this, paste this into a new workbook, save it as a CSV file, then come back into R and do a read.csv or a read.table, import it formally, and then start working on it. Not a hell of a lot of work, but sometimes you don't, you're not interested in making a big project of it. So you'd rather maybe do a quick copy and paste. So this is how you would do this in R. So you go to the data here. First, we'll use Excel. So I'll highlight it, copy it. Now it's copied on a Windows machine. This is copied onto the clipboard. And so now I can come into R and do a read.table. And it is separated. It is tab separated. And this is how we import tab separated. That's how we specify that. It had headers, if you noticed. Okay, and let's give this a name, like degree uh, data frame. And let's see what DF looks like. We see we got the three columns, 15 observations, right? Column headers came in. We could take a little look at the data itself. And voila, we are here. Now we can quickly make some calculations. Maybe we wanted the average exam price, uh, exam score. Right? Uh, maybe you wanted to know how many students this uh, completed the labs. Yeah, so we can do our calculations here without having to go through the whole import process. Right? Okay. Now let me also show you an example of maybe something you find off the web. So I'm on Wikipedia here, and I just found a little table here, and I want to pull this in. I I know I can highlight this copy control C and throw this into Excel. I'm used to doing stuff like that. But sometimes I'd rather you know work on my R skills and maybe I want to work in R instead. So I go into R and I'll do the same thing. If you notice it had column headings again. So we'll do I'll just up arrow to my code. The clipboard is the temporary file path or or direct read dot table to the temporary location where this copied table that I have is stored on it's stored somewhere on a Windows on Windows it's called the clipboard okay it's this temporary place that this is stored and it's stored there until I copy something else or escape out of it okay so since I've copied the one off the web now I should be importing that one so let's take a quick look and we see we got the first name, last name, and age. And let's make sure that's what the table looked like. Yeah, in fact, we had first name, last name, and age. And we had the people's names and ages. Let's make sure everything came in, that this works properly. And voila. Okay, and we could do all our kind of work that we want to do. Uh, so this is a quick way to get data into R without going through the import process using clipboard. Okay, and this will only work, as far as I understand, on a Windows-based machine. Okay, all right, hope that was helpful. Till next time, subscribe, like, share, and have a great day.